not die by the hand of the avenger of blood until he stood before the congregation. Joshua 21. Then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came near to Elisha the priest, to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spoke to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded through Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the common lands for our livestock. So the children of Israel give to the Levites from their inheritance, at the commandment of the Lord, these cities and their common lands. Now the lot came out for the families of the Kothites. And the children of Aaron the priest, who were of the Levites, had thirteen cities by lot from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Simeon, and from the tribe of Benjamin. The rest of the children of Kohath had ten cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh. And the children of Gershon had thirteen cities by lot from the families of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh and Bashan. The children of Morari according to their families had twelve cities from the tribe of Reuben, from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulun. And the children of Israel gave these cities with the common lands by lot to the Levites, as the Lord had commanded by the hand of Moses. So they gave from the tribe of the children of Judah and from the tribe of the children of Simeon these cities which are designated by name, which were for the children of Aaron, one of the families of the Kothites, who were of the children of Levi. For the lot was theirs first. And they give them Gerjoth Arba, Arba was the father of Anak, which is Hebron, in the mountains of Judah, with the common land surrounding it. But the fields of the city and its villages they give to Caleb the son of Jephunneh's possession. Thus to the children of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron with his common land, a city of refuge for the slayer, Libna with its common land, Jadir with its common land, Eshtemoi with its common land, Holland with its common land, Deborah with its common land, Ain with its common land, Jatan with its common land, and Beth Shemesh with its common land, nine cities from those two tribes. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its common land, Jeba with its common land, Anathoth with its common land, and Almon with its common land, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron, the priests, were thirteen cities with their common lands. And the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites, the rest of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot from the tribe of Ephraim. For they gave them Shechem with its common land in the mountains of Ephraim, a city of refuge for the slayer, Gezer with its common land, Kibzaim with its common land, and Beth Horon with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Dan, Eltek with its common land, Jabethon with its common land, Ejelon with his common land, and Gathraman with his common land, four cities. And from the half-tribe of Manasseh, Tanit with its common land and Gathraman with his common land, two cities. All the ten cities with their common lands were for the rest of the families of the children of Kohath. Also to the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, from the other half-tribe of Manasseh, they give Golan and Bashan with his common land, a city of refuge for the slayer and Beeshtra with its common land, two cities. And from the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with his common land, Dabarath with its common land, Jarmuth with its common land, and Enganon with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Asher, Mishal with his common land, Abdon with his common land, Helkoth with its common land, and Reha with his common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Naphtali, Kedish in Galilee with its common land, a city of refuge for the slayer, Hamath Dor with its common land, and Carton with its common land, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites according to their families were thirteen cities with their common lands. And to the families of the children of Morari, the rest of the Levites, from the tribe of Zebulun, Jachnim with its common land, Cartel with its common land, Dimno with its common land, and Nahala with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its common land, Jahaz with its common land, Kadamath with its common land, and Mephath with its common land, four cities. And from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilead with its common land, a city of refuge for the slayer, Mahanam with its common land, Heshbon with its common land, and Jazer with its common land, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Morari according to their families, the rest of the families of the Levites 
were by their lot twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty-eight cities with their common lands. Every one of these cities had its common land surrounding it. Thus were all these cities. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land of which he had sworn to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it and dwelt in it. The Lord gave them rest all around, according to all that he had sworn to their fathers. And not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. Joshua 22. Then Joshua called the Reubenites, the Gudites, and half the tribe of Manasseh. And said to them, You have kept all that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, and have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded you. You have not left your brethren these many days, up to this day, but have kept the charge of the commandment of the Lord your God. And now the Lord your God has given rest to your brethren, as he promised them. Now therefore, Return and go to your tents and to the land of your possession, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave you on the other side of the Jordan. But take careful heed to do the commandment and the law which Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to keep his commandments, to hold fast to him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away, and they went to their tents. Now to half the tribe of Manasseh Moses had given a possession in Bashan, but to the other half of it Joshua gave a possession among their brethren on this side of the Jordan, westward. And indeed, when Joshua sent them away to their tents, he blessed them, and spoke to them, saying, Return with much riches to your tents, with very much livestock, with silver, with gold, with bronze, with iron, and with very much clothing. Divide the spoil of your enemies with your brethren. So the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh returned, and departed from the children of Israel at Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan, to go to the country of Gilead, to the land of their possession, which they had obtained according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. And when they came to the region of the Jordan which is in the land of Canaan, the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh built an altar there by the Jordan, a great, impressive altar. Now the children of Israel heard someone say, Behold, the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh built an altar on the frontier of the land of Canaan, in the region of the Jordan, on the children of Israel's side. And when the children of Israel heard of it, the whole congregation of the children of Israel gathered together at Shiloh to go to war against them. Then the children of Israel sent Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest to the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad and to half the tribe of Manasseh, into the land of Gilead. And with him ten rulers, one ruler each from the chief house of every tribe of Israel. And each one was the head of the house of his father among the divisions of Israel. Then they came to the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad, and to half the tribe of Manasseh, to the land of Gilead, and they spoke with them, saying, Thus says the whole congregation of the Lord, What treachery is this that you have committed against the God of Israel? to turn away this day from following the Lord, in that you have built for yourselves an altar, that you might rebel this day against the Lord. Is the iniquity of Peor not enough for us, from which we are not cleansed until this day, although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord? But that you must turn away this day from following the Lord? And it shall be, if you rebel today against the Lord, that tomorrow he will be angry with the whole congregation of Israel. Nevertheless, if the land of your possession is unclean, then cross over to the land of the possession of the Lord, where the Lord's tabernacle stands, and take possession among us. But do not rebel against the Lord, nor rebel against us, by building yourselves an altar besides the altar of the Lord our God. Did not Ashin the son of Zerah commit a trespass in the accursed thing, and wrath fell on all the congregation of Israel? And that man did not perish alone in his iniquity. Then the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and half the tribe of Manasseh answered and said to the heads of the divisions of Israel, The Lord God of gods, the Lord God of gods, he knows, and let Israel itself know, if it is in rebellion, or if in treachery against the Lord, do not save us this day. If we have built ourselves an altar to turn from following the Lord, or if to offer on it burnt offerings or grain offerings, or if to offer peace offerings on it, 
let the Lord himself require in account. But in fact we have done it for fear, for a reason, saying, In time to come your descendants may speak to our descendants, saying, What have you to do with the Lord God of Israel? For the Lord has made the Jordan a border between you and us, you children of Reuben and children of Gad. You have no part in the Lord. So your descendants would make our descendants cease fearing the Lord. Therefore we said, Let us now prepare to build ourselves an altar, not for burnt offering nor for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness between you and us and our generations after us, that we may perform the service of the Lord before him with our burnt offerings, with our sacrifices, and with our peace offerings. That your descendants may not say to our descendants in time to come, You have no part in the Lord. Therefore we said that it will be, when they say this to us or to our generations in time to come, that we may say, Here is the replica of the altar of the Lord which our fathers made, though not for burnt offerings nor for sacrifices. But it is a witness between you and us. Far be it from us that we should rebel against the Lord, and turn from following the Lord this day, to build an altar for burnt offerings, for grain offerings, or for sacrifices, besides the altar of the Lord our God which is before his tabernacle. Now when fine as the priest and the rulers of the congregation, the heads of the divisions of Israel who were with him, heard the words that the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the children of Manasseh spoke, it pleased them. Then fine as the son of Eliezer the priest said to the children of Reuben, the children of Gad, and the children of Manasseh, This day we perceive that the Lord is among us, because you have not committed this treachery against the Lord. Now you have delivered the children of Israel out of the hand of the Lord. And fine as the son of Eliezer the priest, and the rulers, returned from the children of Reuben and the children of Gad, from the land of Gilead to the land of Canaan, to the children of Israel, and brought back word to them. So the thing pleased the children of Israel, and the children of Israel blessed God. They spoke no more of going against them in battle, to destroy the land where the children of Reuben and Gad dwelt. The children of Reuben and the children of Gad called the altar, Witness, for it is a witness between us that the Lord is God. Joshua 23. Now it came to pass, a long time after the Lord had given rest to Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua was old, advanced in age. And Joshua called for all Israel, for their elders, for their heads, for their judges, and for their officers, and said to them, I am old, advanced in age. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations because of you, for the Lord your God is he who has fought for you. See, I have divided to you by lot these nations that remain, to be an inheritance for your tribes, from the Jordan, with all the nations that I have cut off, as far as the great sea westward. And the Lord your God will expel them from before you and drive them out of your sight. So you shall possess their land, as the Lord your God promised you. Therefore be very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, lest you turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left. And lest you go among these nations, these who remain among you. You shall not make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause anyone to swear by them. You shall not serve them nor bow down to them. But you shall hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have done to this day. For the Lord has driven out from before you great and strong nations. But as for you, no one has been able to stand against you to this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God is he who fights for you, as he promised you. Therefore take careful heed to yourselves, that you love the Lord your God. Or else, if indeed you do go back, and cling to the remnant of these nations, these that remain among you, and make marriages with them, and go unto them and they to you. Know for certain that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations from before you. But they shall be snares and traps to you, and scourges on your sides and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. All have come to pass for you. Not one word of them has failed. Therefore it shall come to pass, that as all the good things have come upon you which the Lord your God promised you, so the Lord will bring upon you all harmful things, until he has destroyed you from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. When you have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, 
and have gone and served other gods, and bowed down to them, then the anger of the Lord will burn against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land which he has given you. Joshua 24. Then Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and called for the elders of Israel, for their heads, for their judges, and for their officers. And they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Your fathers, including Terah, the father of Abraham and the father of Nair, dwelt on the other side of the river in old times. And they served other gods. Then I took your father Abraham from the other side of the river, led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his descendants and gave him Isaac. To Isaac I give Jacob and Esau. To Esau I give the mountains of Seir to possess, but Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. Also I sent Moses and Aaron, and I plagued Egypt, according to what I did among them. Afterward I brought you out. Then I brought your fathers out of Egypt, and you came to the sea. And the Egyptians pursued your fathers with chariots and horsemen to the Red Sea. So they cried out to the Lord. And he put darkness between you and the Egyptians, brought the sea upon them, and covered them. And your eyes saw what I did in Egypt. Then you dwelt in the wilderness a long time. And I brought you into the land of the Amorites, who dwelt on the other side of the Jordan, and they fought with you. But I gave them into your hand, that you might possess their land, and I destroyed them from before you. Then Balak the son of Zippor, king of Moab, arose to make war against Israel, and sent and called Balaam the son of Beer to curse you. But I would not listen to Balaam. Therefore he continued to bless you. So I delivered you out of his hand. Then you went over the Jordan and came to Jericho. And the men of Jericho fought against you, also the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. But I delivered them into your hand. I sent the hornet before you which drove them out from before you, also the two kings of the Amorites, but not with your sword or with your bow. I have given you a land for which you did not labor, and cities which you did not build, and you dwell in them. You eat of the vineyards and olive groves which you did not plant. Now therefore, fear the Lord, serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. Serve the Lord. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So the people answered and said, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God is he who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who did those great signs in our sight, and preserved us in all the way that we went and among all the people through whom we passed. And the Lord drove out from before us all the people, including the Amorites who dwelt in the land. We also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. But Joshua said to the people, You cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, then he will turn and do you harm and consume you, after he has done you good. And the people said to Joshua, No, but we will serve the Lord. So Joshua said to the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen the Lord for yourselves, to serve him. And they said, We are witnesses. Now therefore, he said, Put away the foreign gods which are among you and incline your heart to the Lord God of Israel. And the people said to Joshua, The Lord our God we will serve, and his voice we will obey. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and made for them a statute and an ordinance in Shechem. Then Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God. And he took a large stone, and set it up there under the oak that was by the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said to all the people, Behold, this stone shall be a witness to us, for it has heard all the words of the Lord which he spoke to us. It shall therefore be a witness to you, lest you deny your God. So Joshua let the people depart, each to his own inheritance. Now it came to pass after these things that Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died, being one hundred and ten years old. And they buried him within the border of his inheritance at Timnath-Sarah, which is in the mountains of Ephraim, on the north side of Mount Gosh. 
Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua, and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua, who had known all the works of the Lord which he had done for Israel. The bones of Joseph, which the children of Israel had brought up out of Egypt, they buried at Shechem, in the plot of ground which Jacob had bought from the sons of Hammer the father of Shechem for one hundred pieces of silver, and which had become an inheritance of the children of Joseph. And Elijah the son of Aaron died. They buried him in a hill belonging to Phinehas his son, which was given to him in the mountains of Ephraim.